here we are again, another week. Excellent things going on in the stock market. Interesting things going on in the stock market. It is great to be a part of it. It really, really is. What a... What a time to be. Just what a time to be. So... Let's check out some of our studies for this upcoming week. Now here on the 15 minute chart, we've got WW, which seems to be just dropping just below the candle or the cloud here, okay? So they say don't trade within the cloud, but dropping below the cloud and price here, this tells me that this could be a possible short. But price dropping in the cloud is nothing new. This could just be a bit of a scare. So let's check on the daily. Here we see, you know, some uh, downwards pressure. Okay. I mean, see the downwards pressure from here. This was all of your short interest. Okay. Now we can see after that move took place, it hit its low, it came back up. Here was our low, this uh, hike in, you know, lagging 26 periods behind. Um, and where does it sit now? It looks like it sits right here, hike in, striking green candle, okay, with inside the cloud. And we're in an upwards move on the daily. So that very well could be the signal we're looking for that says, let's go ahead and start trading this again. So, I would expect market open, pullback, okay? And then go on from there. So let's check out Sun. That's Sunoco. Very overextended. Check out our pink bar buy here, which would have been a great buying opportunity. We would have made... Ten percent on that run right there. Ten percent on your money. Okay, shell midstream. Okay. Now why are we going for all of these these fuels? Okay, now here is the blue bar and the pink bar system. Alright, now we would have had to wait a little bit, but we would have gotten our money out of that as well. Here's a nice gap. Okay. So it looks like here is the height of our move. That one's over. Now this is a scan that's looking for the close to be above, you know, a certain, you know, thing. Nothing specific there, but let's just say closing above the nine period moving average. Okay. So that's C A P L. We got B P Y U. Many of these charts look very similar. Okay. So let's go and find something else. Now we need to separate these by dailies, weeklies, and um, yeah. So so I need to find a way to come in and rename and you know, say separate these uh, particular stocks, but I did a video with a YouTube example. We'll do all stocks for the daily. We'll see what comes up. AMC, of course, ATOS, Cat B, EXPR, FCEL, ICON, NVAX, SPCE, SRNE, SWN, and The Horse itself workhorse okay so see workhorse see how that did that thing okay let's see if it did the thing no it didn't do the thing but this did the thing okay let's see if SPCE did the thing it did do the thing check that out all right NVAX oh it did the thing too all right so same deal all right so th these are stocks we should be watching for the upcoming week. Uh, 
that are likely to be having moves. Now let's look at the CMO less than 35 on the weekly. Now that's going to be showing us stocks that are pulling back. A lot pulling back. Okay. But it's a good way to find the stocks that have hit their bottom. So we can come through here and look through all of the ones that are possibly interesting. Okay, and Barrick Gold certainly is interesting. It is at a bit of a low, but look at this. So we can clearly see there is severe short interest overhead. We don't even need to look this up to see that people are shorting it. The Ichimoku cloud can tell us that just with a visual. So, you know, we can see that there is dark cloud cover and that the Ichimoku cloud, and look how big it is. Okay, it's being shorted. So, overall, we're not going to want to mess with this until we start to see our hiking come back through our red cloud and come back up. Um, I believe that's our hiking. Let's see here. The Tekken, the Kaijin, Span A, Span B, and the, the Chiku. Maybe it's the Chiku that I'm... Yeah, the Chiku, I'm sorry. Or the or the Kaijin. Let's see. Yeah, Kaijin, sorry. My bad. So many of these words. I'm thinking Haikanashis. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking Haikanashi. So, yes. Anyway. All right, now let's see what happens here big huge dip and then we're following our looks like our kaijin you know big buying pressure here you know and then uh of course we can see that after april and now what do we see we see this trying to go back up if it was going through the cloud i'd be a bit more content about buying it um but it being flat here could be a good sign. Let's see, Kamada. What's a Kamada? But either way, Kamada is like uh, being bigly shorted. Bigly. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's 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 being shorted a lot. So let's wait and see if we can get our price to come back up through our cloud here. If it hits our bottom here and bounces and comes back up, then, yeah, that's a good thing. So let's check this out on, say, the weekly. And look at that. We just got a beautiful purple buy bar in the weekly for Kamada. Now, this is a long time ago. This purple or pink bar, you know, has happened for us, but... We didn't miss the run. Look, it's about to happen. Okay, and here's your hammer. All right, double crosses. Okay, hammer. Oh, wow. Okay. Now for the monthly max, let's check this out. This does allow for an entry. The Kaijin is higher than price with the doji, which does mean an okay entry. So, with price above the Kaijin, which is probably what happened here um, and caused this big spike, now we also still have price above, very low um, overall short interest. You know, buying pressure is what we're seeing over long term. Um, we can see all the way out for the next couple days, this is our projected price. So, we're projecting that Kamada is going to go from 647 to somewhere around the 942 to 853 area. Um, so that could set us up for a very good trade. So how can we plan for this? Well, let's take a look on a four hour time chart and we can see it hit a nice low. All right, so that was way back then and it's just been squeezed overhead ever since it hit its low. Let's see what happened. It was squeezed down and then uh, the, the Kaijin popped up and then it was squeezed down and then it popped up again. Now it's squeezed down, okay? Now check out how long this squeeze is, all right? Look at these long squeezes. 
All right, here's your pink bar, here's your blue bar, here's your pink bar, okay? And then sometimes it takes a while for these to explode. So now we're hitting our bottoms, all right? Let's check out a 30 minute time chart, okay? So we get our pink bar. Here's our ultimate buy-in, okay? Now, price, you know, it's, it, 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 you know, you know, it's trying to come back through. So if we can get our price to start coming back up within the cloud and our, uh, you know, our Kaijin, you know, to start coming back up through the cloud, then that is a clear buy signal um, somewhere around the 650s area. So if we start coming into the cloud and start coming up above, um, I would say 655, I will create an alert, and if price moves above 655, that is when I will look at it and say that this is a huge bar, a nice buying opportunity, and that we should be looking to get in um, shortly. Yeah. Because overall, this does not look like a bad stock to trade. It looks like it's on its pullback and it's still ready to tread back up again. So, with this giant pullback and a recent bottom here, and this showing a bottom here, this showing our top here, it looks like we could still see uh, some action up. So, if anything, this might take off right when market opens, come back up to here and fall back off and keep doing the same, same seesaw kind of action. Um, let's look up Northrop Grumman. Okay. That one didn't look too bad. Nordic American Tanker Shipping. Interesting. Why are so many of these, uh, say like industrial and shipping container you know, companies and things like that, uh, oil companies making it on the, the lists here? Okay, Q and K International. This big dro you know, low drop off, a low it finally hit. Okay. Ooh, here's our pink bar. All right, but did we win if we would have bought our pink bar? Yes, we did win. What did we win? We won 57.94% in 22 days. Excellent return. Excellent return on your money. Okay. So let's see what is Radley. Oh my goodness. Now when you see a big square like this on the 4 hour, that is a huge huge short, okay? This is a giant, giant short. Um, stay away from this, all right? This will not serve you well. Stay away. These big red, big red clouds mean nothing good, okay? Nothing good. You will lose money forever. Okay. And Nevada Sunrise Gold Core. Hmm. Interesting. This bottom here. I mean, it, uh... It does look like a bottom. Okay. Some gappage. Some nice, some nice action here. We're trying to break back up through the cloud. Yeah, trying to break back up through, so... Hmm. A nine cent stock. We may have to look into these guys. Yeah, we we're we're gonna have to look into this Nevada Gold, you know, Suncor. Although, once again, on the monthly, they're being shorted massively. So they would have to make it up through here before they could ever consider a run. So this is the squeeze they would have to break through before they could go on that run. So potentially, buyers would have to push the price up through here before the short sellers would have to start worrying about covering, I would suppose. And if it makes it up past here, then they're, they're total bones. I mean, they're done, so. 
Let's see what we have here. We have royal gold. Okay. Alright, bit of a pullback here. But monthly, it looks good. Looks like we're gonna... Yeah, we've hit a bit of a low in royal gold. I like it. Wish I would have found these big lows, but... Okay, a low here. We did find our, our low low here in royal gold. Okay, and look at this. We're trying to break back above the cloud. Okay, good action. Coming back up positive. That means our uh, moving averages are starting to stack in our favor. That is what this lower study is indicating for us. So this is a Bollinger Band study. This is a moving average study. This will tell us when moving averages have stacked within our favor to form a bullish trend. Um, I can save this particular indicator. I haven't named it yet, but I can save it over on GitHub. So let's come over here, and I will be happy to share this indicator. And the only thing I ask from you is hit that like and subscribe button. That way you can get more of these indicators when uh, I make them and turn them into watch lists and vice versa. And, you know, of course, so we can all, um, you know, confer together and... You know, uh, of course, you know, let's see, let's copy that, get over here, and uh, I've even thought about doing like a chat room or a discord or something like that, but, um, you know, for right now, I would say the comment section down below will suffice, we can, we can easily just use that, and let's edit our file here, all right. And let's add this in. Okay. And now, if you'll come over, you'll copy and paste. Say it doesn't have a name, but um, let's go ahead and give it one. And we're going to hashtag it out. And we're going to call it moving average. Okay, and let's commit those changes. I'm not going to bother doing a commit statement. Um, and all of these are studies you can copy and paste right into your Thinkorswim, ones that I've made and covered videos on, so definitely go back and um, you know, look through these and uh, look up the videos. Um, you know, that... Uh, you know, the, the indicators might pertain to Shaft Trend Cycle, H.A. Colt, Awesome Oscillator, and so on. And I think you'll find some really interesting studies and some really interesting ways on how you can use them. So, yeah, with the... Yeah, okay, so that's done. Alright, now let's get back to it. Alright, so, Royal Gold at a low. Even though it hit a low here, this really looks good. Royal gold does look delicious. So, um, you know, am I drooling over the royal gold? Not quite yet, but had I hit this low here on this blue bar, and had I seen that on Wednesday, who buddy, I'd have been on it. So, let's save royal gold. Um, I need to get up some of these gold stocks so the, and, and get them on a list, but for now, we'll just write this one down with some of the other tickers. Uh, what is this? BF. GFX and Matt W S N C R and P G E N and R G L D R G L D. So we're building up a watch list of stocks to watch for February, and this does seem like a good one that is going to pull back on another little bit of a dip. So let's put in some uh, alerts. So let's just say when. Royal Gold, <clears throat> let's see, somewhere around Monday, takes the dip below. Okay, so let's do below a dollar six forty one. I will come take a look at it. Okay, so when price dips below this line and gets within this clouded area right here, since it's low now. I'm looking for a pullback, so I'll be looking for this dip. So when I feel that the dip is over and the trend is about to go bullish, 
and it does, and our lower study becomes from zero equal to one again, I will know that is the time to be in the trade. So we'll take zero as our entry and one as our, you know, say hold, and then, you know, if it goes to zero again, that's your exit. Um, or you could do, you know, enter, you know, at the beginning of one, exit when it drops to zero. Um, you could play this a couple different ways. Okay, Newsy. This looks very similar, but um, interesting action here. Very interesting. I like how it's dojied off. Nice little cross there. Um, it it kind of looks dead in the water though, so I think it's about to have uh, it's about to have its moment, you know. And really, what you want to do for people is you just want to let them have their moment, you know. Everybody's entitled to it. So check out this giant buy, giant buying pressure, giant buying pressure, a giant trading volume here. So let's uh, let's see what happens. I'm I'm expecting um, Newsy to see. They're still trying to hold it down from ten dollars. So, I mean, let's uh, let's expect Newsy if we can get it up through this cloud on the four hour. Um, but it is still being shorted. There's more shorts than bulls. So, but from your low or even average trading to your current now. Yeah, would you have made profit? Yeah, you would have. Not the best trade, but... So that's the CMO. These are all ones that are pulling back massively on the week, okay? This doesn't mean that they're going to come up this week. This means that they are pulling back. These are the ones we're looking for lows in, okay? Now, if we want to go and look for ones that are already recovering, that is a slightly different story. So we're going to do that, too. All right, now this is all part of the weekly scanning. You know, we come in, we do this, uh, you know, once a week. So let's come in here and we'll do our uh, Darvis buy signals for the weekly for the S&P 500. I would like to change that around for all stocks, but for right now, we're just going to do the S&P. So we've got Western Digital, okay? And this is pulling back into the cloud with a blue bar in the recent. So we need to get on this Western Digital train if we want to catch the explosion. All right. What else do we have? PBPB, Potbelly Corporation. All right. Um, on the 30 hour, that doesn't look so great. Kind of yucky, kind of icky. All right. Here was our blue bar, and that was way back ago. And of course, price did explode on from there. Um, we got NVAX, Novavax. Okay. Price exploded. Look at the Kaijin, you know, way up here. All right, uh, yeah, bullish action, um, bit salty for my tastes. Okay, let's see, what is this? Nabios Maritime Holdings, all right. Here's your blue bar buy-in, all right. Um, looks like price will settle between here and here. Okay, um, 435, 376, high of, okay, there's your 435, so... All right, on the four hour, I would expect to uh, you know, maybe look for a little bit of a pullback and a buyback in. So look to buy the dip on Navios Maritime Holdings. This looks wonderful. You know, uh, wonderful. Okay. Very cool. So. And there was a nice little dip, and there you go. All right. So you got NKTR or Nectar which is on a bit of a pullback right now, and we'll be looking for bullish signal because it still is bullish on the 30 minute. And it looks like, there was your good signal back then, here's your gap, you know, we're up here. Um, nectar is a bit of a bull trap. Stay away from Nectar, it is not that sweet. The Nectar is not sweet, stay away. Okay, so MicroStrategy, 617, there's your pink bar buy-in. It was a wonderful signal. Price pops up, drops to the cloud, pops back up. All right, so we should have noticed back down here when trading was low, it started to recover. Had plenty of time to buy in. Had you bought in even here, you still would have made money. All right, so let's check out Motor Car Parts of America. All right, what's happening? See, price is busting out, blowing through this cloud. I love it. That is a bullish signal if I have never seen one. So, 
Let's work with it and yep here we go nice bullish clouds on the daily so yeah yeah people are seeing it this is a buy all over and with this upward signal it could keep on running on up through the cloud so you know even though it did have a bit of a high look at where our high has to go and i mean our current our current low is just right here so risk to reward it is worth it to get in on this um for i would say at least until possibly you know the middle of february ish we might see a new high so let's not count on that but meip let's see what's happening something similar actually uh i like the way this chart looks as well um let's pull this out some on the weekly and check it out that looks even better breaking out of the cloud look at that beauty go look at it you know up here you know this is a great signal pink bar out buy in back here and of course this was back in april at the very low of the 72 cents but price blew up now came back down to settle and now it looks like it's ready to go for another run so with us finally breaking out of the cloud that makes meip uh or mei pharma my pharma um it, it kind of does make it a buy but on the four hour, it's it's slightly overextended. So let's look for a pullback on the four hour, just to jump in and get a little bit better of a discount um, for the future, because I am expecting to see this to take a run. Okay, so we've got grow here, US Global Investors at 550. Okay, um, this looks highly overextended with a little bit of downwards pressure and uh, yeah, things just don't really look so great here. Um, now here they look a little bit better, although and this big high and wick just uh, the, it, it's interesting. But um, overall, I kind of yeah, it just doesn't get me jumping. So now this is way more interesting. Yeah, you know, this is a way more interesting signal in the fifteen minutes. So. Let's be watching that, and we get this signal here, we get our low here. Um, yeah, I mean, even if we do get a little bit of a pullback here, we should still expect it to f see and follow this price here. So, um, let's uh, le let's maybe uh, look for a price target of about, you know, a quarter, 35, 40 cents on this before um, it becomes no longer viable. So, yeah. Let me know when price crosses above that. Or, yeah, 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 we wanna know when it goes at or above. All right, and we've got ENDP, which is on a big pullback with a nice blue bar showing here. That's a wonderful signal. Let's see what we've got on the four hour. Okay, so that might've been our, but, here we go, pulling back, not not really looking the greatest, um, yeah, not, not really looking the greatest at all, overextended, and DGX, and these are Darvis buy signals, um, let's see, what else do we have for our Darvis buy signals, let's see, we've got, of course, that was weekly, and we'll have daily. We did our CMO pullbacks. Okay, and all of these are about the same ones, except for this one. I oh, know nope, this was on the other list too. Okay. Let's see, so that gives us our CMO, that gives us our Darvis signals. Um, let's see uh, some other weekly. What else do we have in here for weekly? Let's see, we'll pull out the daily scans on Monday. Okay, here's an Arun Weekly Bullish for the S&P. Okay, this gives us many stocks. So, the green lit stocks are DGX and HOLX. Most of them are pulling back. Oh, and APTV, whatever that is. APTIV, PLC, COM. So, these guys were green lit, but here was your... Uh, say pink bar buy-in and had you bought your pink bar you uh, yeah, which also did dip into the cloud some as we can see had we bought our pink bar 
and held from that particular time, okay? So this would be, you know, roughly November-ish to the high. That was up 62%. So let's just say 62% or over 50% of $96. You did really, really well. So, you know, on a, yeah. Incredible investments. So this was your low to the high, kind of, or your low to the high. So now we can expect to see the opposite action. Now that the entire market has been able to grow and become overextended for this period of time, now it's having the opposite effect. We're going to have the sell-off for a very long period of time. All right, now, but uh, that's, that doesn't mean to doom and gloom. That just means we need to find the stocks that are hitting their lows now that weren't hitting their lows back then. All right, so there's always opportunity in the market. So let's always keep that in mind. Now here's AM, AMTEC, AMTEC. Okay, not, not really interesting. Not, not really interesting. Okay, analog devices, so... This Arun Weekly isn't, um, it needs to be fine-tuned a little bit. Let's go in here and check out our new weekly bullish scan, which gives us two stocks. What two stocks do we get? We get AMC, and we get PLSB. Why? I do not know, but it has showed up. So... Pulse Beverage. All right. Let's check it out on the daily. Giant shorting. Oh, my goodness. They want nothing more than to short that. I mean, that's just all short. I mean, yeah. Okay, weekly. All short. Let's check AMC. AMC, all short. Now, that you see, they were like, oh, it's all short interest, short interest. Well, that's it. These big red clouds... That's your short interest, okay? So if you got these big red clouds looming overhead, it has high or severe short interest, and you likely don't want to trade that stock long term to make money unless you're planning to hold it for the squeeze and explosion like they were able to do and make happen here. And like I said, once they got the price above this Ichimoku cloud, it exploded, okay? And that is the idea of the squeeze. So, you know, given the time in the market, I felt it was proper to kind of, you know, show that, you know, anyway. But we'll try not to specifically dedicate our time to looking for and finding squeezed stocks.